this afternoon, I've decided to stop here at the south of Iceland. This is actually a glacier lagoon. It's not the famous Jokasalan lagoon, um, but it's a different type of name and I'm not gonna try and pronounce that one. Here it is down the bottom of the screen for you. But when I was walking out here, I noticed this little mill pond just in the foreground. And so what I've done is I've actually put the glacier reflecting into the pond. I've got a Nikon D810 with a 16 to 35 mil at 35 mil. I've got my polarizer on the front. I've got a 0.6 soft grad just behind the polarizer just to take that edge off the sky. And I'm shooting at F11. And I've got a shutter speed at five at ISO 100. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna quickly whack off this shot and see what I get. It's not too bad. I'm not happy with it because I really need that sunset pinky sky to make it really interesting. But this might actually work as a black and white. Okay, so I'm down at the lagoon's edge right now and the sun is just starting to set over these mountains here with a bit of mist. We've got the iceberg in the foreground, the lead-in line of the other icebergs going off into the distance and then we've got the beautiful colourful clouds and the clouds are actually starting to reflect into the water and that colour is coming into the water as well. <laughs> so basically the same type of setup as what I had before. Two-stop ND grad on the front with my polarizer filter just to take that edge off of those icebergs there. Set up F11 at a 15th of a second ISO 100 at 35 mil. And you know what? I think it's just about time right now to take that shot because the sky is just starting to turn right now. Magic. The little baby seal, he keeps popping up just to say hello, or just around here, you'll see his little face. Uh -huh. Just around about here. He came up to us close to about that little iceberg there before, just to say hello. There he is. See, he's looking at us. So one thing I've noticed now, I'm getting this amazing reflection. The water is as still as anything. I'm getting the glacier, I'm getting the mountains, chunks of ice, I'm getting this incredible reflection all through the water. So what I've decided to do, I'm gonna do a panorama. I'm shooting at F11 about a 13th of a second. I've got a delayed timer release of two seconds on my shutter. Let's give it a go. So there you go, I've got about a seven shot panorama looking across. Portrait mode gives me that little bit more space, top and bottom, so it gives me that ability to crop the shot. I'm gonna just do one more. I'm actually getting a bit of pink in the sky, so I'm just gonna do one more. That's it. I think that's the best for the colour. I think as the sun goes further down the horizon now, we've got the best of the colour out of the sky. And I'm pretty happy with the shot. 
So I'm just going to say goodbye over here. My little baby fur seal friend over here. So from Celia and I, good night. Next time on Photographing Iceland. When traveling, it's always best to listen to the locals. You heed their warnings because they know their country best. So if they say, don't go and do something, you listen to them.